I'm interested if you agree with me on this one. I love shorts, but I have yet to find a pair of shorts that actually like fit me and look good on me. So I was buying shorts online yesterday, and the thing that I realized is I was looking at like lounge shorts. Okay. Like not shorts to go hang out outside, but like sweat shorts, essentially, I guess. Mm -hmm. And I want them shorter so I can show off my thigh tats. Mm -hmm. But the shorter the shorts get, the tighter they get. Yes. And I don't want tight, tight shorts. I want them still loose like the sweat shorts, uh -huh. but just shorter. So I bought the sweat shorts, and I'm just going to hem them so that they are You're going to the hem shorter. them? Yeah, I took three semesters of different types of costume construction. That was my technical specialty outside of acting. I, like, want to be angry at you, but that's a really cool talent to have. And I'm a Thanks. little jealous, and I think that's what's compounding the anger. You would think with these skills that all of the pants that I've ripped the crotch in from, like, too many lunges or whatever, <laughs> that I would have sewn more of them. But Wait, I have yeah, not. no, that's a good... Why haven't you? How many... You've gone through, what, 20, 30, 50 pairs of pants now? I've gone through a lot of pairs of pants. Part of me wanted to just sew a fun, different colored patch onto the crotch, but I'm also not trying to get people to, like, stare at my crotch when I'm sitting, so I probably should have just, like, whip-stitched it or done, like, a fun thread. What if you put, like, a little mirror down there? You know how they have, like, the little makeup mirrors? You could put, like, a little makeup mirror, and then, like, if someone's looking, then they have to look at themselves, and then they have to internalize what that means. I fear for the ants. What? What if I started a fire with my crotch mirror? It. Are, you're like, just I'm, crazy. Okay, picture this. Picture this. I'm I don't want to, cubicle. but okay. Yep. I'm sitting at my cubicle. Mm -hmm. I have crotch mirror. Uh huh. And my building that I work in, our walls are are glass. Like okay. you see the outside world. So, sun starts setting or rising because I work early. Sun's coming in, that reflection's hitting off of my crotch mirror and going toward another cubicle that has that fabric lining. Next thing I know, I'm in a fire. And we don't have to say what my place of work is, but <laughs> I will tell you, we don't even have a first aid kit in the building. My desk has a first aid kit because I brought one in. And thankfully I had one because someone needed one and nowhere in the building, no one knew where to find one. And I was like, go to my desk. I got burn ointment comes in handy for crotch mirror fire. I got bug <laughs> bug ointment, lotion, chapstick, band-aids, disinfectant. But the chapstick, are you going to be sharing that with people? No, have you it's my used own it? chapstick. I have very chapped lips. Yeah, so then tech... Okay, see, that's a weird thing I have yet to understand from anyone because I know people who share chapstick. That feels weirdly very intimate and very slimy. I've seen people who share their chapstick and they're like, just rub it off the top. I'm like, I think that's weirder. That is weirder okay. because then you're just getting just dirt. Just put it on your lips. I don't care. I don't want your finger on there. Who, Maybe no. you go back for seconds. I don't know. See, that was, what is it? They sell like lip balm, right? Where you have to like, I shouldn't do that. That's I can't not... do those. I can't do those. What are those ones that's a giant ball? Those are cool. I can't do it. I have more fun, like, doo -doo, doo -doo, boo, 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 and then I lose mm -hmm. it. Have you ever completed a chapstick thing? <laughs> I don't think anyone I on use, this planet ever has. I'm going to say I it. use chapstick from the dentist. They have a little bowl with these tiny little bullets of chapstick. Oh, that's right. Oh, there's blue raspberry. There's orange, key lime pie, strawberry, citrus, vanilla, almond vanilla, you failed to, like, mention the best one, cherry. That's standard. Welcome to the podcast, everybody, or whatever we're calling this. I don't know. Um, technically, it's called Prove Me Wrong, because knowing our friendship, uh, usually we discuss really just ridiculous stuff, and then eventually we argue about things. Um, mm -hmm. And we thought it would be good to put that on camera, because... Why not? 
You were eating a blueberry pop tart earlier. I still am eating a blueberry pop tart. I can't think of a less delicious sounding pop tart than blueberry. Blueberry? How about a non frosted strawberry? Some people, I'm not going to name names, but potential partner, not potential partner, my, my <laughs> partner. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> tattoo uh, reveal. Okay, but you can't do tattoo reveal because you have them all over your body. How many do you have now? 25. 25? Yeah. But you have like five more lined up, right? Yes, I need to match my age. That's a, I was, I was about to randomly dunk on you. Like, that's a lot. And then I realized we're the same You're older. Oh. Am I older? I mean, oh, I'm older by like older. a couple of months. And I have one tattoo. Are you a Taurus? Aries? No, Virgo. That with horns? No. Oh. That have horns? Is that the mermaid with horns? Uh, no, I think it's, I think a Virgo is a mermaid with the biddies just out. <laughs> like the Starbucks cups used to be, but not anymore. Or I could just be Aquarius, making that up. And we are the water carriers, so we are not a water sign because we just carry that water or air. What? We are an air sign, the Aquarius, uh -huh. which everything about it screams water. Okay. The symbol is two waves of water. Uh huh. The it's a lady carrying a base a basin, a basin of water. A scene. A vase. Oh, a vase. Ooh. That'd be fancy. Or a, a decanter. I think basin is actually the right word. Have you ever used an actual decanter? Like, well, you're not a wine uh, person. That's for wine. Yeah. Yeah. It was, at, it was at your apartment when you lived here. We had a dig. Oh, no. You're thinking of the aerator. The thing that you like. Same thing. Or same that's not, thing. It's not the same thing. It is, though. It's not. They do very different, well, mm -hmm. crap. They, they technically do different jobs. It's like, you know what a mortar and pestle is? Yeah. Okay. Tell me that a sugar bowl with a little sugar spoon in it is not really the same thing as a mortar and pestle. I will happily prove like prove you wrong. They're nowhere near the same thing. They're both a bowl with a stick. And that ends up with like powder or paste. No, you're not making like sugar powder in a sugar bowl, but you use a mortar and pestle. You can make some guac. You can like crush things up. You're not I could doing do the same things in a sugar bowl. Can you? You're gonna do that with your little like spoon and and no. Y you've seen my cooking show, right? <sighs> I would. I have. I I don't think any other content on any social media has made me so happy and pissed me off as much as your cooking show. Your nails. I mean, I, I, I do love them. And I was excited more so when they popped up because I thought you had little candies. On my fingies? Like, because it was like a reveal. You like look down and then you popped them up. And oh. I thought you had little candies. No, that was because there's so much stuff around me that I just smack things constantly. Like, I, I have a mic in front of my face almost every day of my life, and I still hit it. I do that when I wear a watch. What? Oh, you, in like, life, hit it on things? In life, I can wander. I won't run into walls, usually. I won't run into cars, things like that. You put a watch on me, and all of a sudden, my arm is going rogue, and I will hit everything. And I have no watch insurance. That's is that what? How many what? Not what? How many watches do I own? I wanted to ask Four. that, but then I don't know if I care. Four and three of the four don't tell time. What do you mean three of the four don't tell time? Like I think they are either dead. Just never had a battery in the first place. Yeah, probably one of those two. I have one that I got from like Italy and then I just don't wear it because I don't. I, I understand watch culture and like, oh, it's really nice and whatnot. 
But it just never feels like, you know what this ensemble needs is a watch. There has never been one time where I looked at myself in the mirror and was like, this needs a watch. I do like the dangly watches, though. Like, you know, the ones you Pocket can... watch? Yeah, yeah. Or the, I call them hypnotizing watches, but yeah, pocket watches. I owned one, you... but then it ran out of battery and then I never went to go get it fixed. See, that's the thing. Yeah, like... But that's not going to stop me from putting on the watch in the name of fashion. But I do have that thought where I'm like, you know what this outfit needs? Something to tie it together. Because normally I'll coordinate my shoes and my shirt and my underwear or whatever mm. is going on. Something will coordinate. And if I don't have a through line to actually tie them together, that watch might be the thing that does it. Are you the person that doesn't like belts? I hate belts. How? Why? How did belts hurt you in your... Well, I don't know if we want to go into that because that could be a whole thing. Oh, I was... <laughs> we, <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, we, don't, we don't have to go there. I mean, really what it is that I dislike about a belt is... It's, it's the crotch thing. When you sit down. Oh, wait. Your belt digs into your crotch? Oh, like it creates the, oh, the little like bump where the zipper is like, is that what you're talking about? Like a full on, you just have, you That's looked around like. like you were about to just pull a model out and like, exactly like uh, this. I <laughs> I almost folded the pop tart in half. <laughs> well, now you have, have no, no I need place. to see what this is not my place. Oh, that's true. And the Roomba doesn't run till 8 a.m. You can't just turn on the Roomba? I mean, I guess I could, but, like, he's on a schedule. But it's just a Roomba, can't you? Would you, you like it if I woke you up and was, like, vacuum? <laughs> I was going to say you sound like my mom. <laughs> that was every weekend. I woke up to a vacuum cleaner every day of my life, like, once I hit high school living there. Because she likes to keep things clean, which is great, but, like, you learn to really quickly resent the sound of a vacuum cleaner that way. My roommate, who you know, uh, he, his alarm clock has different settings that you can wake up to, and, or different ways that you can fall asleep. Mm -hmm. And so it was like birds rain standard things like that but one of the options is hair dryer what it's literally the sound <laughs> we played it it's literally the sound of a hair dryer just going and maybe for someone like maybe they had a partner who got up earlier than them and would have to blow dry their hair in the morning and maybe that was like something yeah that they would fall back asleep to, and maybe that became a comfort thing because they knew their person was still there. I don't know, but it's a setting, air dryer that you can fall asleep to. I don't hate that, honestly, because I I'm thinking back to like any time, like maybe Mia's gotten ready and whatnot, and I hear the blow dryer. It is weirdly relaxing because mm -hmm. you know that like they're still there, they're still in the place. Because maybe you were already in bed uh -huh. before they came home, so then you didn't truly know if they were home or not. And if someone's going to break in, their ha in your house, they're not going to use your hair dryer. Do you get into bed with the clothes that you've worn during the day? If I'm taking a nap, yes. But do you get under the covers? Depends. No. 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 <laughs> uh, expand. That is the worst thing you can do because you're wearing we my shoes. Well, no, but you're still wearing clothes that you've been wearing out throughout the whole day. And then you bring all the germs and the ickies into your bed and then uh -huh. pollen and whatnot. And then everyone's always like, I don't know why my allergies are acting up. Well, maybe Daryl, it's because you walked into your bed from being outside, people sneezing and farting on you all day. And then you just bring that stuff into your bed. So don't, also don't get under the, I don't get under the covers for a nap. I don't want to say don't because live your life. I'm not here to tarnish your beliefs, but. Sometimes I spoon my covers. Rather than actually going 
under them, like I'll, I'll ruffle them up. Cause then it's also like, like if you had a body pillow so that it's like kinder to your knees or whatever, uh-huh. like I'll wrap around the blanket. Like you're just spooning a ghost. Yeah. Like a sheet ghost. That's kind of adorable though. Like sometimes I'll like wind myself in it. Yeah, we've. I, I feel like I, I was forced to just become okay with this with our friendship. I to this day we've known each other for forty years now. I don't know mm. how you sleep. It makes no sense. You wrap your head up in the sheet. Okay, that requires some exposition or some backstory. That was when drunk. If I had been drunk, I don't advise this because it is probably not safe, but to keep the spins in, I would wrap my face in the sheet and lay on the floor. Prove me wrong. Okay. The spins are fun when you're laying in bed. No. No. They're so much fun. No. It's a free roller coaster. It's well, not. it's not free, but you'll have to pay for it. And then you probably did pay to get to that point. But it's kind of fun because you just lay in bed and then you just like the room spinning and you're not going anywhere. It's like magic. We don't have a lot I'm of magic a, in this world, Devin. I am an adrenaline junkie. So give me any roller coaster or ride that does that by all means. Yes. But when I'm drunk and not feeling great and I'm like, I need to go to bed. And then the room wants to pull that stunt. Yeah. That's not fun. And then you like drift off to sleep and then like it's over. Like it's, it's a good time. So the weird thing is though. I'm here. Okay. For, for like, dreaming. Uh -huh. If you are ever like, if you're lucid dreaming and you're about to wake up and you want to prevent yourself from waking up, you're supposed to spin like a top because it will make you fall into a deeper sleep, which is why in inception is, I think they were called totems. Yeah. Was a top. Devin, are you just going to spoil Inception? Are you just, you're just spoiling I never it? said who the character was. I never. You're going to spoil said. a 12 year old movie. How dare you? I didn't say anything about the plot. Did you though? I just, I just said what his totem was. <sighs> oh, Devin. And I just, I couldn't get his name till now. It's Leonardo DiCaprio. Cobb? I think it's Cobb, because like I always Cobb. remember Corn on the Cobb. Yeah, or Hop. No, Hop. No, Cobb. I think it's Cobb. What are you saying? Like his character name? Yeah, Cobb. C O B B. What? No. Yeah. I'm too lazy to look it up. Hey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you said you're an adrenaline junkie. Yes, I love. I. Okay. Fear of heights, but I love falling. So my favorite rides are the ones that take you straight up and then just drop you. But do you like the tummy feeling or yeah. you like that? Yes. I would rather the turning uh -huh. in my tummy than in my face. What do you mean in your on face? Spins. spins when you're drunk. Oh. They're, they're in your face. They're not in your stomach. But... I'm I'm just I guess I don't hate that feeling. I don't love it. I mean, I enjoy the rides that like drop, but um those rides that are like you just get in your chair and it takes you up and drops you. No. Worst things ever created. There is one in Bush Gardens, I think, that it takes you up and then when you get to the top, it turns you to face the ground. No. And then it drops you and no. I'm so excited to take you. No. Never. No. No. Why? Why? What do I gain from that? Experience. No, I'll just go to sleep and then it'll do that to me occasionally. Oh, like when, when you're asleep and then you like fall yeah, and catch Yeah, and then you just twitch and then I'm getting to the age where like, oh, well, hopefully I didn't pull something because my body thought I was falling. But you know what? It, you know, your body is doing safety checks. Is, is it safety checks or my body is so stupid it thinks I'm dying just because I'm going memus? Do you forget to breathe? Not on purpose. That's why I said forget. No one forgets a thing on purpose because then you can't because then it was on purpose. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm like not I listening said, to you. I was thinking about my own thought. I was trying to figure out um, if I... I don't even know. What were we talking about? Um, I don't know. You just say things sometimes that just break my brain. And like I just can't think anymore. I'm trying to think of you know something what? recently you said that I'm pretty sure just killed my brain. Oh. Or if we can say unalived? I don't know. I don't know if there's a, a YouTube algorithm that cares something about something that you I say. recently said? I don't know. You say a lot of stuff. Like that. Did you just daintily eat a Pop Tart? That's what you're supposed to do. Daintily eat it? Wait, yeah, did it come food. broken or did you break it up yourself? I broke it myself. Why? I'm in. Div- I'm currently breaking it. Like I will tear off the piece. I didn't like smash my pop tart. It's not a Kit Kat. Ew. Yeah, Kit Kats are disappointing. What? Do we agree with that? No, no, no. I I love a Kit Kat, but like I'm no just one bite loves into a it. Kit Kat. Mm. No, it's it's disappointing. Like I there are so many flavors of Kit Kat. You're okay, missing uh, out. you're not wrong. You're not wrong because I've tried the other flavors and they're good. But like a normal Kit Kat, if you want candy. And you get like, here's a Kit Kat. It's a little disappointing. So with a Kit Kat, what I've discovered is you need the little mini Halloween twos. One of those, perfect amount of Kit Kat. A four piece Kit Kat is a little much. Or five? Is it a five? Is it six? When he's in there, Kit Kat. I think it's five. I don't think it's six. And four is not enough. I think it's five. I think it is an odd number. It's kind of like the whole thing with Reese's. Where like two is not enough. Yeah, they're the worst. That's why Reese's pieces are better. Three is too many. No, four is too many. The king size one is too many for me. I don't know. I can gobble a lot of candy. Like full-fledged Roomba just... (sighs) What's your favorite candy? My favorite candy? Twix. Easily the best candy ever made. Left or right? Doesn't matter. Okay. Well, see, okay, that was a weird thing, and I feel like it was social media lying that some people were like, well, actually, you know, they lay the caramel differently on the left, and then the blah, 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 blah. I think it's bull. I think they're both just delicious. I will sometimes, like the old Bugs Bunny cartoons, where he would take a carrot, and I, huh? I will do that with the Kit Kat, or with the Twix, where I will, like, and then, like, scrape off the top and bottom, and then just have the cookie, and then eat the cookie. That's how you're supposed to eat them. What do you do with an Oreo? Do you do the same thing? You shave off the cream with your tooth? Sometimes. The one? Yeah. Sometimes I'll do that and then like, bleh. I don't like licking it because it takes, it's so awkward. <laughs> no one's licking their Oreo. Everyone licks the Oreo. I don't. What do you do? You bite it. Yeah. No, I'll like boop and then lick it. But then it turns into this weird, like, I'm here for 20 minutes and like, ha, 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 ha. And then I zone out thinking about existential crisis and then I'm done and then I eat it. I feel like that would hurt your tongue. Oh, really? Do you have a normal Like, people tongue? say Captain Crunch will, like, destroy your mouth. Okay, but for Captain me. Crunch is, like, pointy and also not that good. <gasps> are you talking but about the on. peanut butter Captain Crunch or which one are you no, talking about? No, absolutely not. Well, isn't that the original I, Captain Crunch is peanut butter? I don't know. I love a holiday crunch. Give me any of the themed Captain Crunches, like the baseball one or the ghost one that turns your milk green or the just the full-on Christmas one with the trees. Give me any berries are not berries. They are shapes. And I am there. Did we ever do the Burger King? Because you said your the changes we your ate milk the green. Black Whopper. Did we eat the Black Whopper? I don't remember. We sure did, and we both had poop that was like comic teal green. Why is everything that I've eaten that has changed the color of my stool? It's been with you. Because for my twenty fourth birthday, it was the cake that was entirely just black fondant, and it turned my poop <laughs> black. I don't know. I thought I was dying. It and then, should have been. And then we had the Whopper. And then we've had, I've had probably the weirdest food. Oh my God. You gave the me. Captain Crunch Dusties. The Captain Crunch Dusties that sat in your car for the entire day. And after a show of ours, we had them. Yeah, in a parking lot. Yeah, and the cream inside was still somehow warm. 
but I'm pretty sure that was from them cooking. The yeah, from sitting in your car. Yeah. What a time. What other weird stuff have we had? Are you adventurous when it comes to food? I will eat anything. Is that true, though? Like, okay, well, okay, you're are right. you... I won't eat cottage cheese. I draw the line at cottage cheese, but give me anything else, I'll try it. Will you try anything? Like, I'm like because I feel like there's I a line between. Anything. Oh yeah, I'm. I'll try like these different types of foods versus like I will eat this live scorpion on this Ritz cracker. Like adventurous. Like I'll eat this heart. Like, where do you fall? I'll, I'll try it. I'll try anything once. Unless it's like got avocado, because then I'm going to have an electric you reaction, and I'd rather not yeah. do that. But otherwise, like I recently, and by recently, like a month and a half ago, mm. went to one of those um, conveyor belt sushi places. <gasps> Rotating sushi! Yeah. Enjoyable There's, but stressful. Oh, there are two new ones in Arizona that are just the best uh, mm, calamari that I've ever had. It's so good. It's like this, like, delicious but i had octopus for the first time i'd never had it uh -huh. and it just came by on a little tray and there were two of them and it was just like sliced octopus hmm. and i was like i mean i guess now's the time to try it and i ate them both because okay. i was like i feel like i need to give it two chances and it felt like it was fighting back like the suction to my tongue, but at the same time, it was tasting like cheese. What? Like, not a good cheese. Like, like a craft single that you didn't want to eat just as a craft single. Like, you would have preferred it have been some other type of cheese, but instead, that's what you had to snack on was just a piece of cheese that came in plastic. Craft single is delicious. Fighting back. I don't think it was cooked, Evan. It wasn't cooked. This oh, was a no. cold octopus. Oh, no. That's, no. That texture, nothing about that sounds good. Yeah, it was rubbery. And like I said, it was... No. I always feel awkward at rotating sushi because, like, you just pay for your plate. And then I start feeling bad because, like, I'm on plate number seven. Now I'm on plate number eight. And I just, I eat so much food that it's like, okay, maybe I'm the problem in this situation. No, 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 no new place that's here you have a tv screen and when you eat a plate you put it in one of the little disc thingies and every five your little cartoon guy advances on his adventure and once you hit 15 you win a prize that's let me tell you dangerous. something that really grinded my gears Ooh, okay. not everything that you order because there are the plates that come by that you can pull off but you can okay. also order things and they come by on a second level one that just shoot to you not every plate goes in that tray, and it doesn't warn you about that. So there were times I was eating something delicious, but the plate was just slightly this oval shape wrong size when it easily could have been the other plate that would have fit in my thing. So now I had to order more. I had to pay more money, which I did because mm. I was determined to win this prize, which I also didn't look at what the prize options were because yeah. it told you what was in them, and it was literally <laughs> a cloth cleaner for your glasses. Or a little tiny pin or a temporary tattoo. And I got the temporary tattoo. I did still feel accomplished. I went with what I set out to do just the next time that I actually went in and enjoyed my time. I was not trying to hit 15 anymore. I was just trying to eat the things that I wanted to eat that were good that, that I now knew didn't always have the appropriate. So plate. you spent $60 for a tattoo, temporary tattoo. I sure did. Was it at least a good tattoo or? Mm, Jerry's still out on that one. Is it still, still on have your body? It. Oh. Not on my body. It's in its little ball inside my car. What? Just in your car? Yeah, my car. A lot of hidden gems in my car. I have a little koi fish. A little uh, hard plastic koi fish that's supposed to go in a garden that I bought. You said that as if that's just What? What do you mean just like, a plastic koi fish that goes in a garden? Like a resin koi fish, like a hardened resin that an artist made. I was, the, it was an art table. Someone had like jewelry and different things. And I was like, that is a cool koi fish. I'm going to support you. So I bought that and I keep it in my car. Okay. 
I mean, support, like, I think we can all agree on this podcast, everybody, support artist, but I'm just confused on, that's what it was made for, to just go into a garden. I think it's supposed to, like, yeah, go in one of your potted plants. Just, like, look nice. Are you a plant daddy? I would like to be. Here's my thing. I have two, I think they're called air plants. Air what? plants. Um, air pods. Air plants. They don't require any soil, and they only need to be watered once every two weeks for 20 minutes. So what I I have these two heads. One is a guy with a mustache, and one is a guy with a beard, and their heads are open. And there are these – one of the plants is this, like, spiky plant, so it's like the guy has, like, a spiky mohawk. And then the other one is this, like, swoopy plant, so it looks like he's got this, like – long flowy curly hair and i take two little air plants out of it and i put them in a bowl of water for 20 minutes and then i put them back into the heads and they stay for two weeks and then they get put in a bowl of water again so i have one of those um i love succulents i think they look really cool but i also managed to kill one and i was like you are a desert plant how did I kill you? And I actually may have been because maybe I overwatered it and then overcooked it. Did you? Oh, no. It's like when we had a little moss ball when we first moved out here. Oh, I remember that moss yeah, ball. Yeah, Maribel, Maribel when you first or moved moss out ball. There, we had, well, we got it when we lived in Phoenix and then we brought it here. Now? And then we for kind of like, we didn't even put him up in the windowsill. I think he was on our dresser, but just the way that it would hit during the summer and he got yeah. kind of fried and it was legit- little Motorola. No. See, I mentioned earlier, you just say stuff that breaks my brain. And then I like, oh, I'm going to have a comeback to that. And then my brain is just like, there is nothing to say in response to this. I say. And we've been doing this for 65 years now. And Do I you still-, still have your little Zen garden? No. Oh, the little one that we, when we went to the, the bookstore? No. Am I allowed to say brands? I I've don't said Motorola, know. Rollerola, I've said uh, Massimo. Probably, I, I mean, probably Osimo. we could say them, but... I, Pop-Tart. I, I mean, at that point, we're just giving free, like, marketing, so... You can put a beep on everything I've said, and people will have to guess. I just think I'm swearing. <laughs> I put that... In my mouth, that <laughs> I love this button, oh. but don't use it ever. Wait, can you? Can I? Can we? Did you just try to hit me? No, I tried to ring the bell. Oh, the I don't. Mm. Oh, not allowed here. It's a whole I don't know. Thing. Maybe I'm in the wrong realm. I mean, the stream, I can get away with stuff. Well, uh, oh, because this goes on the YouTube, it is on the YouTubes. But go ahead. I'll I'll give you one for free. I'll give you one for free. Go ahead and hit that. Ooh, no, better yet. Here because we're professional. Pretend you are someone who really likes this new video and they want to hit the bell icon on the channel. Where's the bell icon? Down below or up top? I think it's down below. It, wait, what? It what? was actually the bell was hanging in front of me. Oh, uh, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, that was sure. I guess it's better than like going down and then it kind of yeah, just looks that like. That should have been more of a ding. Or just this is a bass. suspended bell. Oh. Uh, well, because you're. I was a percussionist for 10 years. Yeah, and isn't that because you, that. So this is wonderful because this is exactly why I love our friendship because somehow we've been talking for 35 minutes. And we're going back to one of the first subjects we talked about. You did percussion. You did band. Not one of the first subjects we talked about. I'm getting there. Follow the string. Oh, Follow the I'm string. I'm, I'm you did percussion. You, down this trail. you did, uh, which helped you grow your calves to unbelievable size. Listen, bud, I had calves before that. Okay, well, you can suck my peener. Um, that is one of my issues with shorts. <laughs> My brain just meant Pinot Grigio. Pinot Grigio, favorite wine. Favorite. It's love delicious. It. We love a white wine. Actually, I really do. Especially when it's hot, but then I feel like it has the a issue. hot wine? No, no. 
<laughs> when it's hot out. Yeah, I microwave my wine. I love a hot grape. That's molted lava in your mouth. I've seen those videos. Like, it turns it into a little laser. A grape laser? Yeah, like if you Grazer? put it in... There what did you just say? Brain. Grazer. Grape laser. Grazer. I'm gonna just... No, what was I talking about? Shorts. Okay, so percussion. Shorts. 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 So yeah, yeah, that's yeah. my you issue. My thighs. Well, my thighs. Like I don't have like massive tree chunk, but I have good thighs that I want to show off. I inherited my father's tiny calves, and no matter what I do, I can't grow them. Like they're they're they look good, but I can't grow them. So I have to find shorts that are short enough that they show off the calf. Because if I don't, it's just like stick, and I don't you have to like find that shorts that are short enough. Yeah, I have to short show ones. Off the calf? No, my thighs. You well, that's not what you said. Roll the clip. Don't no. You don't get to just say roll the clip. You can rewind. I, oh, I can't. Well, I mean, in the you edit, have a little. Do you have like a little a rippy tape down? No, I don't actually. Bubble tape, hubba bubba. Is that hubba? Which one's the tape? Bubble tape, hubba bubble tape. Hubba bubba? Isn't it hubba bubba? Hubba bubble hubba tape. Do they still make that? Like the tape yeah. gum? Do you can they? get it at Cracker Barrel. Mm, I don't know if I like yeah. Cracker Barrel. I, I know. <laughs> 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 Did you just see the wave of emotions where I was just like, huh? I sure did. You went on a journey. I don't like that they have a store either. That's the best part. Sometimes. It is not the best part. How many things? It from... kind of creeps me out. The whole experience is very creepy. The floorboards are creaking. There's probably a dead colonial person turning butter. In the wings. There's a weird song playing. Is there music there? Yeah, oh, you bet your butt there is. Bet your butt. How much do you think your butt would cost? For what? I don't know. You just said bet your butt, and then I was like, what and if you were I playing say, poker? I wanted to say boots. Oh, well, now I'm like, if you're playing poker and like you're like, I don't have anything to bet. And like the only thing I, well, okay, let me preface this, that I'm not saying betting your butt for specific sexual activities. I'm just saying if we were doing the math of like meat at a market, like how much do you think your butt would go for per pound? It's a good question. The word choice doesn't get any better for what you're trying to avoid. Well, if you go like, I'm going to bet my butt in this poker game, there's obviously like going to be a whole... Pound. Oh. <laughs> it is. So I'm going to change the topic <laughs> to Cracker Barrel again. Um, I want... Because I used to have longer, cowboy hat. puffier cowboy hat. hair. Giant nope, cowboy hair. Hat. My hair. Giant helmet. helmet. And... Um, an old well, lady at Cracker Barrel like came up, and I shouldn't say old because she wasn't really like old. She was like probably early forties, and she came up behind me and like grabbed one of my like curly locks of hair, oh. and then was like, "I love your curls. Like, is this natural? Do you curl it?" And I was like, "No, that's how it is." I was like playing the little checkers game. I was like, no, that's how it is. And then she was like can I have some, like, will you give me some of your hair? And then she like leaned in and whispered in my ear that she would take me to Disneyland if I gave her some of my hair. And this was like senior year of high school. There's no way this is real. It's very real. You, so let me, I didn't let me go to Disneyland. If that's your question. There wasn't, I'm glad you probably didn't. didn't win at checkers. I was very thrown off. I, I, I'm i trying to... I've thrown off my rocker. <sighs> so you went to this restaurant. You uh, were playing checkers. Yes. And Ooh. this waitress out of... Not a waitress. Waiter? No, just a lady leaving. She had finished her a meal. She's on her way person? out. And on her way out and is like, I think I want one more thing to purchase. 
Yeah, I'm out of frame. Nope. There. How does this nope. make any sense? What? There I am. There you found your light. Well, no, I didn't, because look at this dungeon I'm in. I think you did a good job. Wait, no, Thank stop. You. No, you're you're deferring away from this. This is no, we're no, did anyone at the table with you say anything? I just had one. Per I had my opponent and checkers. Yeah, but didn't they it. care about what was going on in your what life? What are they going to say? And also the Disneyland thing was whispered into my ear. Was there a part of you that considered it? I mean, like, logistically, I was like, how are you going to do that? Like, you going to ask for my number? That's true. No. And also, like, I wasn't about to be like, yeah, sure. And then have her all of a sudden, like, whip out a pair of scissors that she's been keeping in her pocket. That reminded me of the time that I saw someone cutting their hair while driving. <laughs> was it me? No, it was here in L.A. where I was, you know, people are, like, waiting to turn left. This woman. Oh, that's a good time for Yeah, it. I was going to the intersection. This woman had, like. Full like coupon cutting scissors, like the big ones, but driving. Not scissors. What? She shouldn't be using her fabric scissors on coupons. Again, three levels of costume construction. Don't worry about oh me. my god! Congrats, Devin. You found a way to make the story about you again. Let me pull out the medal for that. There's She's no cutting metal. Her hair. She was cutting shears. her hair with regular scissors in her car. And she looked at me oh, because... Oh, no, the mess. Okay, yeah, which also, I can't do anything after I get a haircut because I'm too itchy. Like, I have to go home and shower. Do they not dust you off? They do, but it still just stays in my shirt and whatnot like that. Like, huh. some people can just, like, get a haircut and, like, oh, I'm going to go back to work. No. Oh, I do that. I love a surprise work haircut. Like, going to take my lunch. Then I come back with, like, no hair. I'm going to actually do that on Wednesday. I made an appointment with a barber. Um, at, I, I requested some time off so that I'm going to go to the barber, still get my lunch, and then show back up. And I'll have um, my beard and my hair and my nose and my brows cleaned up. Which, to anyone who's listening to this, Devin already has incredible hair. But this whole barbershop thing, we, we got on the phone a couple of days before to talk about that we were going to do this. You should have seen the disappointment in his face when he was like, oh, I wish we would have done this after I got my, my full, I was going to say Brazilian, but you're not doing a Brazilian. <laughs> we did talk about Brazilians. We did. But. Would you? Would I? I mean, I would try it, but like, no, I don't want that style. I don't either. I think I did that. But I, I would didn't do, do it to say I've tried it. I didn't do a Brazilian, but I did in, in college, like, shave everything. And it was a horrific experience. I had to do that to get body painted. And I waited till the last minute to do said shaving. Oh, no. And then I was like, I am someone who has to be so early to whatever I'm supposed to get to. Like I need to get there 20 minutes early so I can sit in my car for 10 minutes and then still show up 10 minutes early so that I don't look like I showed up too early, but I've been there the whole time. So I'm not stressed. And I was coming up close on where that wasn't going to happen for me to get this like full on body painting. And I, I wish I would have like nared or something. Cause now here I am with like just a simple razor now trying to finish shaving no. myself. And I had like some patches and missed things of course. And then I'm like just naked getting painted. Like, I'm sorry that I look like this. <laughs> the paint hit it. So <laughs> just, I'm sorry. I look like this. I'm just, sorry. <laughs> I went through four razors in one go to do it. It was not worth it. I, I have a lot yeah, of hair. I think we were doing it wrong. We should have started with like Nair or like a, a electric one and then and then that or just a wax. Getting waxed. Oh, I don't know if I would. I, I, if I was getting paid to wax, yes, but not for free. Hear that? You can pay money and we will get waxed. Hey, I we have discussed this. I am not pay me. You want me to do something? Pay me. I'll do it. Well, to a certain extent. To an extent. Yeah. I like. So you're, 
you mentioned that lady was cutting her hair mm-hmm. in a car. Um, I was in a booth at a restaurant in a dream, and the lady next to me was using toenail clippers to clip her teeth. Oh, that's right. We've talked about this dream. And, and I was stuck in that booth with this lady. And I imagine that she is the dream version of the lady you saw cutting her hair while trying to turn left. They're the same person. But my subconscious, like, pulled into my dream. That woman from the hair cutting thing also looked at me like I was the person at wrong here. Like, I will admit I was staring because my brain could not comprehend that she was doing this, like, at a light. It wasn't a red light. She was waiting to turn. And then she stared at me like I was the problem. I just remembered something. We're only doing, we were only hearing our voices. You're not going to see us. Yeah. I was just, if there's anyone that, like, you know, when you put it on YouTube and you're only, like, listening. I was like, I... How long did we spend <laughs> trying to make me have some semblance of lighting? I still have these like no, beady I'm little being, dark eyes. I am being and... professional and conscious of the people who are like potentially they just turn this on in the background and they're listening to our sweet, sexy voices. You through your yes. Burger King headset. I wish I had a Burger King headset. See, I think you can buy them. What does a Burger King headset look like? I don't I know. know. Don't I they have buttons? At... I think they have like. On oh, one oh side. yeah, yeah, yeah. I worked at a clothing store because we're not just giving out free advertising anymore. But I will say it's fashion for the whole family. What is this slogan. stank that you just added? Just to add? what was that whole dance move? You don't just move through life like that. No. Got a song in your heart. No. Oh, sometimes I. <laughs> sometimes I like to think that in another life I was a dancer. I oh, I want to be a go-go dancer in another life. Which ones are the go-go dancers? You just dance in your underwear. Like me in this oh. life right now? No. We're not going to do that. Like me in another life? If I was in better shape, maybe. And I got paid. It, it boil, boils down to just getting paid. I just... Uh, where did you just go i know well i was thinking of my dancing and i was like i'm i'm a lot of shoulders like some people are like hips you I'm shoulders. are a lot of shoulders and i you can... don't want a go-go dancer up there just and for those of you only listening to the audio if you can just imagine a lot of not even shimmies which i'm now doing but like just a lot of up and down sometimes it's just one shoulder but if you just imagine your go-go dancer doing that i love you and that's the only reason why I feel okay, like, joking about this. It's not wrong. I have done dance numbers with you on stage, and it is a lot of shoulders. Listen here. No, no, no. I can pick up a choreographed piece, but if I am there... You still this, found ways to add shoulders to it. Well, of course. you got to make it your own. i got to... Like it's called making a choice. It's character development. I, I need to look enough like what the group is doing, but also enough like an individual. We've all, haven't we established this though, that like if you're doing a group number, don't you also still want to be the center of attention? Am I making this up? Like you do little things to <laughs> still like me personally. <laughs> yes. Because I feel like I've heard you talk about multiple times. We're just like, Oh, I just do this little thing to make sure people are looking at me. That can't be me. It can't be me. What do you mean? I know when a scene is not my own. I know, but you still like eyes on you. I mean, I probably that little am note alone doing... just answered the question. No, the little. <laughs> I, I prove me wrong. That I'm not. Try I'm not trying to be in the center. Like, yeah, you need to look at stage right sometimes. That's, I mean, still, I, I'm just, I feel like I'm I've had... people figure out magicians. Wait, what? What did you just segue to? I'm helping people figure out magicians. Oh, you're always just looking forward. To always look to, yeah. That's magic. I, that, magicians are amazing. 
or I'm helping the magic happen. They think that I pulled focus and all of a sudden they look over at me real quick and they glance back at the person in the center who's in a new costume. Mm. That reminds me of the time on in theater at ASU where I had a quick change and the person helping me didn't realize my tattoo was real and they just started oh, going no. to town on it. And I had to like say multiple times, like, that's a real tattoo. That's a real tattoo. That's a real tattoo. And then like, I had to like run out, but they started like going to town. Scrubbing it. Yeah. My grandma tried to do that on a fresh tattoo that I had. Like, yeah, that was my face too. It was in the middle of church. She just it's my is my thigh tattoo and I was wearing shorts that when I sat down they like rode up a little bit. Uh-huh. And so I have that paintbrush that's got splattered paint. Yeah. So she saw splattered paint and thought it was <laughs> splattered <laughs> paint. Oh no. And then and then I was like, No, it's a tattoo. So then she proceeded to try to like rub out the tattoo. What's been yeah, your most hurt. painful tattoo? Oh, uh, my foot. The manatee on my foot. That's right. We've discussed this but because I love you... a needle. I love a needle. Tattoo needle. The shot they give you at the dentist. An actual shot. I need to go. <laughs> I need to do acupuncture, but I feel like I'll be in too much bliss. But the... <laughs> you know what's worse? You took this conversation one way, and my like little divergence in the road wasn't going to be any better. What was your divergence in the road? I was going to say, we've talked about this because you ruined your chances of being a foot model. So you took that it towards the... That was not what I said I was going to be. A f- foot no, model but was you not said you it, because of the selling manatee. Selling pictures of my feet? Yes. Yeah, you and ruined nobody it. Wants a... I just want the pictures of the manatee. I don't want the foot attached to it. Like, I would pay for pictures of a manatee. Which... <laughs> I was oh about to gosh. be like, I'll pay pictures for feet. I was no. like... I mean, feet are fine, but like, I don't, I'm not going to buy pictures of feet. I would read be... today. Oh, no, continue on. Your... Manatees, tears. Manatees just cry. Well, because the water and, is like, salty. It gets salt water in their eye. I guess, but like, they are always teary eyed. And scientists are starting to realize that they can use these tears to figure out how healthy or how much trauma the manatee has been through because so many manatees are getting hit by boats. And also, also um, water temperature changes. And manatees cry. That's the thing I'm getting at that makes me so sad. Manatees cry. And that hurts me. And so did the one on my foot. It was a very spicy feeling. Okay, when you leaned forward <laughs> in your chair, it looked like there was a hooded man behind you. Like the hash slinging slasher. That's what he looks like. <laughs> that's there. I. How do you segue? I don't. That. Also, you call it spicy. Yeah, that's foot. the best way. It's a kind of like Coke at McDonald's, but a different kind of spicy. There are like three spices in the world. There's like, there's four spices in the world. There's. There's your food spicy where it's actually hot and your mouth is on fire and you're starting to sweat and mm-hmm. there's a little bit of pain. Mm-hmm. Then there's like sexy spicy. Then there's spicy like when you like you can take a sip from a bottle of Coke and then you can take a sip from a Coke at McDonald's or even their Sprite. And that's a spicy beverage. Like it's not like burn your mouth hot tingles but it's like a weird fizz spice and then there's the spicy pain which was the needle going into the foot and like just the rubbing feeling when they're like shading and that's the only way i could just well and it wasn't even my word it was the tattoo artist because like ribs ribs feel great no i love my ribs being tattooed no no my foot he was like spicy yeah and i was like Yes, Andrew. Yes, that is how I would explain it. Is that his, was that their actual name? Shout or out did to you Andrew. Just, or are you just yeah? He's great. Okay, I'll carry on. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. True or false? Mexican Coke is overrated. The drink. I mean, I have people well, in my life who swear by it, and like it's, it's so best. much better. It's fine i think they just like drinking out of glass 
I like the idea of drinking out of a glass soda more than actuality. Also, yeah. I feel like the hole on the Mexican Coke is too small. It's not enough. It's not. It's not enough. And then, like, it's yeah. just, no, I feel like it gets warmer faster, too. And, and. Bottle heats up. No. I think the only time, like, m like, I've had a tangerine or a grapefruit soda out of a bottle. That's when it's better. Huh. Welcome, diner. I miss that place. Oh, it's here. Yeah. Back where uh, I used to do like little movies because they would do like during the summer, they would do a, a 24 hour movie festival. Never won. Still hold on to that. You and feeling. I have never gone to Welcome Diner together also. And I don't know where they would have played a movie there. They would put up a screen and whatnot, like in their little like, because I think they moved yeah, in recently. In their little where? They had a little courtyard and they would put up a little movie screen. Oh, I don't know if. Yeah, maybe I've been to. A new location. They have a new location, and then they had like Welcome Chicken and Waffles, which I never went to. I wonder if their old location is where the Pemberton is now, because that sounds more like where a film would have happened. Because Film Bar does stuff at Pemberton. I don't know. They did. No, they would just get a little screen put up in their little like area that they had, and people could vote and. People never voted for our movie, and you know, it's okay because I uh, oh, put wait, in like one? a lot of... I was in some of those. I don't think you were in any of the Welcome Diner ones because you were always busy. Or I, we weren't friends. Uh, we we were, would have we been friends. We were not always friends. We were not always friends. You sure about that? Uh, you hated me. I hope best friendships start. Actually, no, that's fair. Yeah. It is. <laughs> I did. I The first time I didn't meet you, I hated you because you were too talented at Every did you say the first time I didn't meet thing. you? I, don't I know, love that I? phrase. I don't oh, know. I hope that's what you said. Because like we were working on the same thing, but we actually had not That's met. true. Yes. But you walked in. You walked in and doves flew everywhere and everyone fell to the ground just because like, oh my God, it's Devin. And you were good at everything. So there was a period of time at the start that I hated you because it was just like, this dude's going to be like, blah, blah, blah. And then you turned out to be good, like a good person. So that helped. And then um, I don't know where it just turned into like the friendship. But we spent a lot of time together. Part of me wants to say it was at your birthday in Vegas, but then also we would have had to have had some reason for you to invite me to Vegas. Yeah. So... That remains a mystery. We blocked out whatever that was. Oh, that's, yeah. That's, we, yeah. We locked that one away. But that's good friend. That's like how all best friendships start, right? Like you never know where the beginning is. Mm -hmm. But you do know where the ending is. And Steven, this has been a long ploy just to break up with you. You're going <laughs> to... On a podcast... <laughs> Can you imagine? I told you I was I joked that this entire podcast was just going to be set up so I can bring my friends on you and did. then just destroy their lives. And I blocked that out. <laughs> just scorch earth podcast. Think of the views. Because I'm like, that's not how this would end. This would end with us saying I love you. And then now you're saying it's going to end up with a breakup. Uh, yeah. Friendship. Well, dang. Is it me or is it you? Oh, it's never me. Never. Oh. Me. So it's we're breaking up. I don't it's think not we me. can break It's up. never me. It's you. No. It's always you. I don't think we can we can ever break up. We can't. We've also gone like stretches of time of not talking and then we just get directly back into literally the last conversation that is we had. It really is. Like everyone that is thinks you that pick like up where you left off. Like, oh, friendship, you have to talk to each other every day. I There's been times I haven't spoken to you in months, and then we still yeah, talk. Yeah, we go months without talking to each other, and then the last three days we've talked to each other, all three days. In, like, you and I do not talk on the phone. I remember no. there was one time that we specifically tried to talk on the it's phone weird. just to catch up, and it was the most awkward thing ever. It's weird. Yesterday, a little bit less so. We had we well, had a task. We were doing business. To complete. So it's different. Oh, what you just threw up that symbol was big business, but, business, little business, big business. We were doing big two business. Those, two of those were the same. No, they weren't. They went different directions. Middle, left, right. 
But yeah, it doesn't work. Our our form of communication does not work on the phone. Which is weird because we don't do anything like all that like but we also one of us will stop talking for 20 seconds because our brain breaks and we don't know how to respond and it's just like, "Well, I guess I dropped the call." It just also doesn't feel it doesn't feel right. It Yeah. But we don't FaceTime either. I don't know if that would be better or not. It does get tiring, like holding your arm out just to FaceTime, and then just slowly but surely you start sinking lower and lower, and then eventually it just becomes the ceiling. And like, you could like we... prop the phone on a pillow and then like lay on a bed, pillow talk. I. You're speechless. I know. I get it. Yeah, you say pillow talk to me, and my brain just like, oh yeah, okay. I wish I had more tea. Or caffeine. I like caffeine. But you don't drink you coffee. Do. Well. Has actually, it started? I will drink a coffee if there's chocolate milk in it. Like Dutch Bros does it right. You got to throw chocolate milk in there. That's the secret. That's how you get coffee to be delicious. Like actual chocolate milk? But then why actual, wouldn't you also I mean, just have a mocha? they're telling me they're doing. A mocha, is it chocolate milk or is it just chocolate it's syrup? It's chocolate coffee. Like, that's how you make a mocha is with chocolate coffee. All you're doing Chaffee. is... all. What did you just say? I, said, I whispered chaffee. Chocolate coffee. I am chaffee. Like the movie Cha... cha. Cofflet. That sounds like it's you're sick. A cofflet? Like a baby cough. Oh, a baby cough. I'm going to call it a little cofflet. You know that little cofflet that I do sometimes have frequently because I got that messed up thing with my throat? Uh, maybe? I don't know. Sometimes you make demonic noises. Oh, that's different. <laughs> no, wait. Fuck. Mm, mm. We're going back Chocolate to this. Chocolate coffee. Go back. Yes. I get it. All you're doing is doing a mocha, but then it's just... It's just cream. Just add chocolate no, cream. No, 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 not cream. I don't want cream. It's just milk like, I don't is want a just a form of, milk. of like. And I think strawberry milk would be weird in a coffee, you know? Yes. And I want a glass of chocolate milk. I don't want a glass of strawberry milk. Okay, but Dutch Bros also needs to be stopped. No. They started off as like normal, and now I don't tend to worry about what companies do because whatever. They're pumping a lot of sugar and caffeine into people who probably should not be having that much sugar and caffeine. And this is coming from someone yeah. who used to drink a large 911, which was eight oh shots of espresso. I am one of those people who also should not be having what I have there. But honestly, one of my favorite interactions I've ever had at a Dutch Bros, I pulled up and the guy popped out the window and just said, hey, dad, welcome to Chili's. And I have never felt more seen. I, Did I tell you I applied to work at a Dutch Bros once and I didn't get it? Well, because I, you're you're happy and joyful, but you're not climbing into someone's car through the sunroof and ask them about their day cheerful. But I could be. And honestly, what my downfall, they, they really got me. I went to one of those days where it was like, we are doing a big hiring event. You just show up at the Dutch Bros, giant line of people, mm -hmm. took us behind the Dutch Bros. There were four people standing. You got sent to one of them. You had 30 seconds just to have a conversation, and then you were sent away. Mm -hmm. And they had clipboards, and then they called some of us back. So I got to come back and do an interview with like a panel of people, and then I got called back to do a final interview where I was told I was one of six and the guy that they had, I don't know if he was the GM or what he was, but they had doing my last interview, we went across the street to like this other food place that had outdoor seating. And he's like sitting on the table. And I'm like sitting at this other table. This man had the most beautiful eyes I've ever seen. And his question was, what's your blind spot? And I could not say your eyes. But I wanted to. <laughs> you should and have. Oh my I god! Should have. What a and power maybe move. Maybe that would have gotten me. Maybe that would have. The flattery would have gotten me. What a power move! And I talked about that. My my blind spot is saving money. Like if I have cash, I'm gonna Ooh, spend. Probably it. not a good thing to tell a job <laughs> where you collect money. Well, 
No. What's, what's your blind spot? I just I just spend cash when I get it. Like I can't I can't just put it away. I guess. Maybe also, you know, I got a bone to pick with Dutch Bros and also a certain chicken restaurant that I'm not going to say the name because I don't go to them anymore for mm. for reasons. They put people outside with a little iPad to help with traffic, and I think In and Out does this too. I could name a few other places. You know who else started doing it in Phoenix? Well, that's part of the, the thing. Bell. They don't need to do that. Fast food company, you need to check yourself. Please do not put the minimum wage worker outside. Panda did it. What? When I went to Panda last night. You don't need it. In and out. These places make sense because they have so much people. There is a jack in the box not far from us next to an alley that they put this this worker out there next to this terrifying alley in the middle of the night with no one out there standing with an iPad. And there's no reason. So Whataburger did it, too. And I, see, here's my thing. Like, what's going on right now in Arizona is... Drive throughs are now like eight car minimum frequently. And I'm now concerned that, yeah, a lot more places are doing this. Send the person out there with like a little sign of the menu hanging off of their neck yeah. and then they've got their little iPad and it's, it's getting hot. Yep. And there's like no little pop up shades. I'm seeing these people try to like sit under the actual menu to like get shade from the sun. And yeah. It's very sad. It's unnecessary. It's unnecessary. You don't need to do that to your people. And it makes me feel bad. Because they don't want to be out there. Just, just, just don't do that. Don't put them outside. Unless you're paying them less. Pay all of them less. That's what this actual podcast is all about. Can you imagine that just left turn? That everything else on my life, I'm like just liberal and whatnot. And then when it comes to paying people livable wages, I just like pay people less. I can't believe that's what we're going to end on. Yeah, so probably. Pay people I less. We, what can we end on? Because that's not a good take. And I don't agree with that. Pay people what they're worth. Also, request what you're worth. As I look at you. You are worth a lot of money. And your talent. Are we, are we trying to segue back to that conversation? Which like conversation? How much, the one where you're oh, like, the how much money? That is how but we yeah, need to end. That's how what much? We're gonna... Yes. Or not. I don't know. $20. I, $20? $20. Your, your butt's worth more than that. Actually, I don't know how uh, much my butt weighs. We should try that. How would I weigh my butt? I guess I could get like a... a a oh, aware and put like one cheek on and then like the other cheek and then like add them up and then figure out what they would I like math I don't oh I was my favorite subject in school I feel like you change that answer every time we talk that's not true I love math that I, I miss it you miss math you're surrounded I miss by math. math homework I miss the me that had such a thrill when I was given those equations that was like both sides need to equal each other and you just had to start like flipping signs and cosines and tangent. Ah, oh, what a rush. That's my kind of Friday night. Here's how we can end. Let's, let's end on like one more prove me wrong. I don't know what it'll be, but we need to figure it out. I'm trying to figure out how compared to Friday night you were just talking about it. And I don't know. Because all my brain is thinking about is the time I really disappointed my math teacher and his sad face is seared into my brain. Because during one of his Aww. classes, I like started drawing, I think, a Transformers logo because I just was not understanding anything. And then this shadow took me like in a movie and I looked up and this... The the pure face of disappointment, just shaking his head at me. And that was like 2000 and something, 2010-ish, and I still remember that to this day. My Calculus 2 class in high school, there was only five of us in there. It felt like the breakfast club. And 
you knew you were getting called on every single day. There was no escape. There was no escape. You were going to solve something. But I ran into that teacher years later at a subway, and he bought me a cookie. How nice is that? Your life is so interesting. Like you were buying a sandwich and then he just bought you a cookie or. Yeah, I was already eating my sandwich at the table. And okay, then that he, makes more he, sense. I saw him and like waved and he was getting his sandwich and leaving and then he left. And once he left, the subway person was like, he bought you a cookie. I was like, oh, what? <laughs> well, I got an m M&M cookie. <laughs> that was that. that an m M&M, m Oh, that's what proved me wrong. m M&M m cookies are the worst cookies ever. You bite your tongue. Seriously, they are the worst cookie. They you take bite your two tongue. incredible things and combine to make one mediocre thing. Rude. You're talking about like one that you bought at Safeway in a box. Anywhere. No. M&Ms are delicious you, by you themselves. Don't like them Cookies. Rainbow chip ones. No, they're not oh good because gosh. all you buy they just combine into one flavor and none of it's good. That hurt my heart. We're ending on that. I'm gonna prove you wrong. You're gonna sit in that guilt. It's not guilt. I am a champion. I win then. Because it's true. I wanna actually that is we are professionals. I wanna see in the comments everyone who like what is your take on the MM cookie? Because it's the worst. And I want everyone it's to so agree good. with me. And what you want, what you want is the cookie that has three MMs in it, and you want one to be yellow, one to be brown. And then the third one, blue or green. You're going to have yourself a good day. Hit him with that bell. <laughs> <laughs> you said that with so much conviction, and I love it. <laughs> well, <laughs> until next time, everybody, enjoy heading out with that bit of knowledge that uh, apparently yellow, brown, and then mystery. Just Not like mystery, what? blue or green. Blue or green? I think you said it was mystery. Well, but it's got to be blue or green when it's revealed. It's turning You're going to have yourself a good day. No, nope, you missed your cue again. I, I, no, just... Just no.